Manitou, air spring setup guide for forks with these Manitou technologies. First, we'll set up the fork based on the rider's weight. Then, we'll fine tune the fork for the rider's preference and style. This guide can be used for setup on these Manitou forks. Find the right setup information by first identifying the specific air spring in one of these ways. Refer to the back of the fork leg or navigate to the Hayes Zendesk site and identify the specific technology used on the fork. Single crown forks access the Dorado or expert air chamber from the bottom. Dual crown forks access the Dorado or expert air chamber from the top. Assemble these tools and parts and let's get started. Use a zero loss shock pump for best results. These are the basic steps. If equipped, first set the IRT air pressure. IRT is Manitou's infinite rate tune or secondary positive air spring technology. Second, set the Dorado or expert air pressure. Refer to the fork's setup guide for recommended pressures based on rider weight. On single crown forks, pressures can also be found on the back of the lower leg. If there is no IRT air spring, go directly to Dorado Air Expert Air Spring Setup. As always, clean the fork before doing any service or setup. Unscrew the IRT air cap and attach a shock pump. Note the air pressure. Your shock pump may release up to 10 PSI when attaching the pump. Account for this loss when noting the pressure. Add the recommended air pressure. Remove the shock pump. Replace the air cap and note the pressure in your tuning book. The IRT must always be filled first, and it must always be greater than the Dorado or expert air pressure. First, unscrew the Dorado or expert air cap, firmly tighten a shock pump onto the air spring end fitting. Note the air pressure. The shock pump will automatically open the balancing valve, charging the positive and negative air chambers simultaneously. Adjust the air pressure to the desired setting and remove the shock pump. Unthread the shock pump valve head rapidly to minimize pressure loss during removal. Replace the air cap. Note the pressure in the tuning book. Ride the bike. Write down pressures and settings. Take notes about ride characteristics as adjustments are made. This helps to create baseline settings a rider can return to if an adjustment doesn't provide the desired results, or if that setting is beneficial for certain trails or conditions. To ensure proper function of the IRT system, there must be more pressure in the IRT than in the Dorado or Expert Air Chamber. Refer to the setup guide for the maximum pressures of the specific fork you are using. For precise IRT tuning, a change of 1 to 2 PSI can make a difference in ride quality, where 10 PSI can drastically change the ending support of the fork. Lower IRT pressures provide a more linear spring rate. If the sag and initial spring rate are correct, but the rider is unable to use the full travel, reduce the IRT pressure as a first step. Lower IRT pressure is suitable for lighter or less aggressive riders, flatter or less technical terrain, or wet, slippery routes. Increased IRT pressure gives a more progressive spring rate. The spring rate ramps up more in the end of its stroke, giving the rider more support off bigger hits and during aggressive riding. If the sag and initial spring rate are correct, but full travel is too easily reached, increase the IRT pressure as a first step. Higher IRT pressure is suitable for heavier or more aggressive riders, steep trails, 
jump trails, and bike parks. Recommended starting pressures for the rider's weight can be found in the forks setup guide. Precise adjustment of 1 to 2 PSI can make a difference in the ride quality. Changes of 5 PSI will make a drastic difference. Decreasing the Dorado or Expert air pressure will increase sag. This can give the fork a smoother off-the-top feel with better small bump compliance. If the rider is not achieving full travel even after lowering the IRT pressure, the next step is to lower the Dorado or Expert air pressure. Lower Dorado or Expert air pressure is suitable for lighter or less aggressive riders, riders who are more static on the bike and prefer to let the bike do the work, and wet or very dry conditions where extra traction is needed. Note. Lower Dorado or expert air pressure may require speeding up the fork's rebound. Increased Dorado or expert air pressure will decrease sag. This can give the fork a firmer off the top feel with decreased small bump compliance. If the rider is using full travel too easily even after increasing the IRT pressure, the next step is to increase the Dorado or expert air pressure. Higher Dorado or expert air pressure is suitable for heavier or more aggressive riders and riders who are more dynamic on the bike, such as those who pump and jump regularly. Note, higher Dorado or expert air pressure may require slowing down the rebound. If tuning adjustments do not provide the same benefits as earlier tuning or do not improve the performance, it may be time to service the fork. We recommend that bath oil is replaced after 50 hours of normal riding and a complete service is performed at 200 hours. Certain conditions, such as prolonged riding in dusty or wet terrain, may necessitate servicing the fork at shorter intervals. Always note the air spring and damper settings prior to a service to reduce the need for retuning. You have completed the air spring setup for Manitou forks equipped with Dorado or Expert Air along with IRT. Complete service procedures for these forks can be found in our other videos. Continue to our YouTube channel and ManitouMTB.com for more information. Thank you for riding with Manitou.